I'm Justin with americantrucks.com and on this episode of The Hall, we're bringing you the Rams of SEMA. Hey, what's happening guys? Justin with americantrucks.com. We're coming to you live from the 2021 SEMA show out here in Las Vegas. We're gonna do our best to bring you some of the hottest Rams of the show this year. I have a feeling it's gonna be very TRX heavy, but you never know what you're gonna find. So let's get after it. All right guys, so we're making our way to the Mopar booth here at SEMA. I understand they have a couple concept Rams we wanna check out, so. Let's see what they got in the Mopar booth here, checking out some of the goodies that Mopar brought, of course. A lot of TRX, uh, obviously a lot of Ram, Jeep, that sort of thing, but I'm actually standing in front of a really cool TRX here. This is the Rex Runner concept truck. Let's take a look at this because there are some factory-backed accessories from Mopar on this truck, along with some concept pieces as well. First up, the thing that grabs my attention is this really cool gray color here. Obviously, we got our Mopar blue accents really popping on this TRX. Underneath, you'll see this is actually a combination of skid plate here, which is a concept part at this time, but I think it looks really sharp on the truck. This particular option does have black rhino wheels, and I love the black rhino stuff. I had some on a previous truck uh, wrapped around these. Currently are a 37-inch BFG all-terrain tire. Uh, these accessories, these rock rails, are actually available for your TRX today. These are a Mopar-backed accessory. They look really good. I love how they hug the uh, the cab of the truck. Sometimes a lot with these rock rails will stick out really far and they just get kind of bulky. These are still gonna give you a lot of that protection where you need it most underneath here. I'll still give you a little bit of a step as well. Drifting down a little bit, guys. Obviously, we've got the Ram bar, some concept lighting up top of that Ram bar as well. A lot of the accessories going on back here in the bed. Obviously, bed extender, but also a spare tire carrier, which I really dig. These exhaust tips are part of the Mopar accessory catalog as well, in addition to your bed step here. You get a kind of a good mix of factory, aftermarket, and even some concept parts as well. Let's take a look inside because this interior is unique to this truck. Obviously, we're getting a combination of the TRX goodies, but also some of the tradesman stuff, uh, according to Mopar. So it's kind of a nice balance of, you know, your working man's rig, along with the most badass TRX uh, or Ram that's in the lineup, of course. So guys, again, if you want to outfit your TRX, if you're lucky enough to own one, you want to outfit your ride with some factory back Mopar accessories, it's a good way to get an indication of how they might look on your rig. So it's no surprise here at SEMA that the big thing with the truck market especially is this outdoor vibe, overlanding vibe, and Mopar went ahead and did that with one of their concept vehicles here. This is the Outdoorsman Ram, uh, basically a concept, guys. It starts off as a big horn Ram, it's lifted two inches courtesy of a Fox suspension, but then they start throwing all kinds of crazy bits. So let's take a look at this thing. Really, really sharp. I'm loving the black with the blue accents, kind of almost like a uh, hexagonal snakeskin thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, can kind of get a better sense of the two inch lift. Nice wheel and tire combination. Again, black rhino wheels, big fans of those. Really digging this interior, check it out. So you got your outdoorsman embroidered into your seats. You got your workspace or workstation there going on. Uh, one of my favorite things about this, check this out guys. They have a concept uh, vacuum cleaner installed into this thing. So, you know, if you're using this truck, getting it dirty, taking it off-road, outdoor, camping, probably gonna need that, it's gonna come in handy. So liking the light bar a lot, obviously not really that crazy as far as visuals are concerned until you get back here. And here's where you get a good sense of like what the outdoorsman vibe is all about. We got kayaks up there, we got fishing poles, obviously your bikes back here. Still have a Ram box that they've implemented into the back. We've got a cool little workstation back here, slide outs, cooler space. Um, so, you know, a very versatile rig for off-road and of course, for that camping or outdoor overlanding vibe. So it's something you're gonna see a lot of here at SEMA, especially this year. And it's something Mopar is capitalizing on as well with the outdoorsman concept. Stopped over to see our friends here at Magnaflow. They told me they had a really clean TRX and friends, they were not lying. Let's talk a little bit more about this thing because it is kind of a collaboration between both Magnaflow and Anderson Composites. Now, if you guys didn't know, Anderson makes some really, really clean carbon fiber accent stuff for a wide variety of vehicles. Here in the TRX, as you can see, we got the fender vents or the hood vent inserts. Uh, the inlet insert here, again, you can see the fitment, it's really, really nice. I'm really digging the grill surround and headlight surround as well, but even if you go a little deeper into it, such as your fender vents here, big fan of those. And they even have little subtle additions with 
things like your tail light insert. So that's one thing I do like about Anderson Composites. And oh yeah, we can't forget about that Magnaflow system on there as well. But Anderson keeps things simple, kind of like this truck. I like it. This is really my speed, guys. Uh, a solid truck with subtle additions. Magnaflow exhaust, TRX, I'm sure it's a healthy combination. So behind me is a good indication of kind of what you can expect at SEMA as far as builds go. Guys, check out this massive white 2500. This is pretty gnarly, right? Because you got 28 inch American Forest wheels. You know, you got the airbag lift setup going on here as well. Uh, everything powder coated, everything chrome, custom grill. The awesome 2500. I mean, it's a really clean build, really well done. But we want to know from you guys, is this the kind of stuff you really dig as far as SEMA builds go? Or are you more of a fan of like just a clean TRX build, 37s, nice wheel, off-road, or feel like this? Let us know in the comments section. So most of the Rams here at this year's SEMA show tend to be the larger than life, massive lifts. It just tend to make up the show. But once in a while, you see something like this guy right here, right? The slammed fifth gen on bags. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. What, are you digging the low stuff? I personally think it's a nice change of pace from some of the massive lifts, massive amount of chrome, you know, just basically unusable. This thing's on bags, so obviously it isn't like this all the time, but uh, I really dig the fifth gen body style, especially when it's laid out on the ground like that. So very sharp looking build. Again, a nice kind of alternative to the monster trucks here at SEMA 2021. Let us know what you think. So in the land of TRXs here at SEMA 2021, the Kanadi rig behind me really, really stands out. I'm a big fan of the stands. As you can see, guys, we've got a little lift going on with the TRX through the modded Bilsteins, which allows us to run a 39 inch tall tire on there. Look at that, that's just a proper stance. Uh, I'm liking the low profile bumper here up front, guys. We've got some rigid lighting going on. Um, so you can actually see right there is what they do is like a, a perch mod or a collar mod for the factory Bilstein stuff. And that collar there basically allows you to get what it looks like about maybe an inch and a half to two inches of leveling with this truck and get those 39s on there. But outside of that, let's take a look around here because it's more than just a pretty face and a nice lift. We got all of the overlanding stuff. You guys heard me say earlier that this is just, this show is nothing but like camping, overlanding. They're really hyping all that stuff up. And the Kanadi rig really did a great job of showcasing that. So just a really, really nice black paint job, ton of flake. It's really popping here in the sun. And uh, again, probably one of my favorite TRXs from this year's show. All right, so you want to know how you made it in life? Well, check out this rig behind me. That's probably a pretty good indication, guys. This is called the Armageddon rig. And what you're looking at is obviously a Ram HD lifted to the sky with the gnarliest Fox setup I've seen here. Everything powder coated to match, armor all over the place. And then you got a damn smart car on top of this with Lambo doors and paddles on it. I mean, that is just wild. So let's take a closer look at this rig. Obviously power steps. Look at the detail under here with the control arm stuff. I mean, just unbelievable. Big old super swampers on there. There's your ramp set up for your smart car with the Lambo doors. I cannot get over that. And then, oh yeah, just your, uh, you know, matching Supra wake boat to go on top of it. So guys, I don't know what your guidance counselor tells you to do in life, but I'd get up with the owner of this rig and ask him what his guidance counselor told him because whatever it was, it was certainly working. So guys, I'm standing in front of one of probably my favorite truck here at SEMA when it comes to Ram, and it's kind of like sneaky, under the radar good, right? Uh, it's amongst all the cars here out front of the South Hall, but it's just got really, really clean pre-runner build. So let's take a closer look at some of the stuff going on here. It's not a TRX, it's a standard 1500, but they did some awesome stuff. So up front, as you can see, the truck has been widened thanks to those fiberglass fenders. And it's got a really, really low profile front bumper. I'm digging that. But let's check out underneath the fenders, these fiberglass fenders. And look at that hardware, dude. Just massive bill scene stuff going on. Fabbed upper control arm. Uh, really, really sick hostile wheels wrapped in the general grabbers. Uh, dude, I mean, this thing is well, well done. Nice solid light bar up there. Let's get a, a view down the side of the body. You get a sense for how much wider the both front and rear fenders are. 
And of course, back here, we got the matching suspension, huge Bilsteins through the bed, tying into your rack here as well. I mean, this is just super well done. Not only that, oh, there we go. We got the low profile rear bumper as well. Rock rails. I'm a big fan of white trucks. I've owned a bunch of them. And again, low key, probably my favorite truck here at SEMA 2021 when we're talking about the Ram. Just a really clean, well done Baja style build, pre-runner build if you will. And uh, yeah, thumbs up to the builder. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap us up here from Vegas. American Trucks Ram, we came, we saw. We brought you some of the coolest rigs. We hope you enjoyed our coverage of the show this year. As always, if you dig the content, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more. But in the meantime, I'm Justin. I'm out of here. My feet hurt. We'll see you next year. For all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.